This is going to be a computer vid, so if computers aren't your thing, you can kindly hit the orange box in the top right hand corner of your screen. I had a lot of parts lying around, and my friend, he wanted a new computer, so I put the parts I had lying around with new parts, and we made a pretty cheap computer, cheaply priced anyway, and I was kind of surprised with the power and the results I was able to get at the end. So we're going to go through the list of parts we have here, starting out with the power supply, RAID Max 630 watt power supply. This is my old power supply before I upgraded, pretty good. We got the motherboard, the Biostar H61 MGC. Little tiny motherboard, it can only house one GPU, but it gets the job done. We got the Godspeed mid tower case. It's got the dual fan control at the top, two fans at the top, one on the rear. Power and reset buttons. We got your CPU, the i3-2100, 3.1 gigahertz. The tools to go in and get the job done. The 8 gigabytes RAM, two 4 gigabyte sticks, DDR3-1600, this is what I run in my current rig. Your typical Samsung CD DVD R combo, rewritable. And up top we got a hard drive, Seagate, 120 gigs. Had it laying around the house, so hey, why not just use it? And we got another one I picked up from my mom's place, uh, another 120 gig Seagate. Seagate is popular in my family. So right here we got a list of all the components from top to bottom and their pricing and everything. Total cost of all components is $251.95 out of the discount. The GPU is not put in. And right here we're going to show you a little bit of building the case and what it is putting all the components and everything together. So we're going to take off the side panel right here. And as you can see, the entire inside is empty. So the first thing you got to do is take a little peek around the case and let everybody look. So you got the dual, dual fans up the top. And we got the one fan in the rear. My case has a fan up front and pieces in the middle to hide cables, but it's a pretty cheap case, but it gets the job done. So we're going to put in the motherboard right here. You can see it's really tiny. Going to clamp it down in. And next we're going to put in the i3. You got to get ready to place it in, open up the case. So that that's clipped down, we can put the heat sink of the CPU in. Click that down in on the four spots. There we go. And next up, we're going to put in the power supply. Mine goes in the bottom, but this one goes in the top. Doesn't matter, no. All the hot dash shoots out the back anyway. And now I'm going to put in the hard drive. 128 gigabytes. Not too big, but hey, my boy really doesn't need anything more, he said. I run a terabyte, to be honest. I don't think anybody should go below 500. And now I'm going to put in the optical bay. The Samsung CD DVD drive. And now the RAM. This thing can only hold two sticks of RAM, so we opted to go with two 4 gigabyte sticks. Mine can hold four, but like I said, you get what you pay for in a $50 motherboard. And lastly, there it is. We're going to put the case back on top and the panel. And there's your computer.